Welcome to South Pasadena, California. Let's take a closer look. Hi everybody, welcome to the world of Micah. Today I am in South Pasadena, California. We're back in 1978. John Carpenter and Deborah Hill made one of the most iconic horror films of all time. One of my all-time favorite horror films, if not my all-time favorite horror film. I'm wearing the shirt today because it's gonna be a fun day. I'm talking about the film Halloween. And a hundred billion people have done the filming locations of Halloween before. So I decided to do my version of it and pick a few choice scenes from the film Halloween and show you guys exactly where it was made. If you're up for it, Let's take a closer look and travel back to the year 1978 and find the filming locations for John Carpenter's Halloween. Now before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button because it's free and it'll keep you updated with my latest video. Now although this is not a filming location of the movie, I have to show you guys this before we get into the actual filming locations. Right over here, right behind me, is a bench that has a dedication in loving memory of Mustafa Akkad, known to the world as the godfather of the Halloween film series. Your legacy lives on, filmed in South Pasadena, 1978. And if you were to sit in the Mustafa bench and look straight ahead, you're looking at Laurie Strode's house. Right over there is the house that was used in the film as Laurie Strode's house. So I'm trying to match up the photos the closest I can get. You can see the three trees right here in the photograph and there's the garage. Lori's dad's vehicle would have been right there exactly where that truck is. And that right there is the door that Lori Strode would walk out of. And her dad would say to her, don't forget to drop the key off at the Myers residence. Don't forget to drop the key off at the Myers place. And this is pretty wild right here. It's where Jamie Lee Curtis was walking. You can see this tree actually in the shot. And right here, this is exactly where Lori would have been walking. You can see the house in the background in the shot. And she walked all the way down here to sit on this famous little stoop. So many people have sat right here. And I came all the way here to do the same. Luckily, the people who live here provide pumpkins. What an iconic spot for a horror film. I can't believe this. It's so incredible to be able just to walk up and this family here provide pumpkins and allow you to take a photo right here in front of their house and recreate one of your favorite scenes from Halloween. I just, uh, I can't get over it. So incredible. Because most people who live in a house that was used for a movie, they don't really like to admit it or they don't really invite people to come and hang around their house. These people who live at the Lori Strode house are very inviting. They have a photograph up here showing that this is the house and they provide you with pumpkins so you can take your photo exactly where Jamie Lee Curtis did in 1978. If you guys are watching this video, thank you so much because it means a lot to us fans. We really appreciate that. As you can see, right here, okay to take pictures, okay to use pumpkins to take pictures. Sit like Jamie Lee Curtis and please return the pumpkins. And they have some of the photographs from the scene right here. So awesome. And look at that picture of John Carpenter and Jamie Lee Curtis sitting there together. And then there she is smiling, a little, a little behind the scenes photo of Jamie Lee Curtis. So in the movie, Lori has a pumpkin in her house. Because they're going to be watching horror movies and carving the jack-o'-lantern. And she sits right over here waiting for her friend Annie to pick her up. Just like this, I want to say she crossed her legs. She was sitting here just like this waiting for her friend Annie to pick her up. Little did she know, this was the beginning of one of the most horrific nights of her life. It's also crazy to think right here is where Jamie Lee Curtis was sitting and John Carpenter was sitting right there. Also in the frame you can see a camera right here. He was kind of giving her some direction for the famous pumpkin scene. All right guys we're going to be moving on to the next location right now. All right our next location is right over here. This house where I'm pointing 
is Linda's house, played by PJ Souls. And did you guys know this is also the house that was used in the TV show Mama's Family? So you have PJ Souls, Linda's house here. The famous hedge is right there. And then that house right over there is Annie's house and Sheriff Brackett's house. So in the movie, the three girls were standing here. PJ Souls would then take off to her house right over there. And Lori and Annie would continue walking, where then all of a sudden you would see Jamie Lee Curtis, Lori, look straight ahead because she saw the shape standing right there. And right here is about the spot where the camera was and Michael was standing right there. Then as she looked again, she noticed that the shape was completely gone. He was not standing there anymore. At this point, Andy was just like, ah, rubbish. I'm gonna prove to Lori there's no one over there, but I'm gonna scare her first. And right here, where my finger is, is exactly where Andy Brackett was standing, and she said, oh, Lori, dear, he wants to talk to you. Lori, dear, he wants to talk to you. He wants to take you out tonight. There's also a blooper in this scene. If you look over in this area right here, right in front of Annie's face, you can see some cigarette smoke being blown by one of the crew members. And then of course, Lori walks this way where she looks and sees there's nothing over here. Standing right there. Oh, Lori, you scared another one away. This, my friends, is one of the most famous hedges and all of horror history. And this house right here is the Sheriff Brackett's house. This is Annie and Sheriff Brackett's house right here. This point right here is where Lori bumped into Sheriff Brackett and he said the famous line. It's Halloween. I guess everybody's entitled to one good scare. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? And right here is where he was walking to his staircase to go back into his house. So crazy. The Brackett's. Sheriff Brackett's house. During the filming, there were some kids right above the hedge there who were peeking over and watching as they were filming the movie. It's pretty cool. They never took it out. They didn't even reshoot it. Guys think I'm too smart. I don't. I think you're wacko. Now you're seeing men behind bushes. But you got to think, it's 1978. John Carpenter's on a shoestring budget. He's just trying to make a horror film. He's not really worried about a couple of kids peeking over and looking at Jamie Lee Curtis because not many people knew who Jamie Lee Curtis was back in 1978. Pretty incredible to think that Lori, Linda, and Annie were all walking this exact route right here, heading home. Linda's gonna go home right there. They're gonna keep walking straight. And this is when we finally see the shape's face for the first time. Well, that about does it for this location. We're now about to hop inside the car and head to our final location of my filming locations for John Carpenter's 1978 classic film, Halloween. As you can see, some of the locals are still into the idea of paying tribute to that movie that was filmed here 40 years ago. So now we are here on Meridian Avenue where originally at 707 Meridian Avenue, the Myers house was located. After filming, the house sat vacant for years and years and years. Until one day, I read a man stepped into an office, handed a guy one dollar and said, I'd like to buy this house. They made it a local landmark and now it is located right down the street, right down there on the corner of some train tracks. And it's a local business now. But right across the street here is where the opening scene of Halloween started. And right here is where the opening scene happened where you could hear the kids say, trick or treat. <laughs> you can see these houses in the distance as Lori walked up to the Myers house to drop the key off. Michael didn't like that. In fact, he walked right out here and watched Lori and Tommy walking down this sidewalk. Now these apartment buildings here are brand new. These did not exist when they were filming Halloween. 
but everything on this side did exist when they were filming the movie Halloween and they moved the Myers house right over here. I can see it in the distance. There's still something very eerie about that house. And here it is, you guys, the final stop of our filming location tour for John Carpenter's 1978 classic, Halloween, the Myers house. This is the Myers house 40 years later. Would you look at that? It still pretty much looks the same. So I'm gonna give you guys a walking tour of exactly what it looked like in 1978 in the opening sequence. You would have seen a pumpkin right up here and then he made his way all the way back here where he looked in this window and saw his sister Judith and her boyfriend making out. He looked up to the top window here. He then walked right past here and into that room right there where he then went to the kitchen, grabbed the knife, walked upstairs, grabbed the clown mask, put it on, walked into Judith Meyer's room, where she turned around and said, Michael! He then proceeded to stab his sister until she died. He then walked down that staircase, right out that door, down those stairs, and stood right here where his dad got out of the car and said, Michael? Then there was a huge pullback crane scene that showed the whole house. Little Michael standing here, his dad standing there, and the mom standing right there. And this was the opening scene from the 1978 classic. This is as close as we can get. It says right here, we are not allowed to disturb the tenants. Please stay off the porch and keep to the perimeter or driveway of the house. But you guys can see the staircase right there. Well. I think we did it. I think we found a few filming locations from one of my favorite horror movies ever. Which means it's time to say goodbye. But if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free. It'll keep you updated with my latest video. I had a wonderful time roaming around South Pasadena today, finding a few of the filming locations from John Carpenter's 1978 classic, Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had a lot of fun making this video. If you're ever here in South Pasadena, please look up some of these filming locations and find them. Let's keep the spirit of Halloween alive. If you would like to support World of Micah, please head over to patreon.com slash worldofmicah, where donating $1 a month can help fund videos just like this. I'll see you guys on the next episode of World of Mike, everybody. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's Michael.